How do you create a repeatable swatch pattern in Adobe Illustrator? This is a pattern which, when applied to any object of any size, will just repeat infinitely in all directions and fill whatever you're doing. It could be a box, it could be a garment. So, first thing you need to do is create a rectangle. So, we're going to create a rectangle here and have zero fill. And just hold down shift, make sure it's square, and there is a square. Now, I know that I want to have this as a star fill, so I'm going to start by drawing the stars which overlap the edges. You'll see how this works. So let's select um, the star tool, and on the drop down, I'm going to click color, which is pink, but I'm going to have zero stroke. You'll see why in a few minutes. So let's draw the first star that will overlap. Let's do a star there, and put in there. Let's have a second star, which is going to go, let's say, over here. Now, to make this a bit more interesting, I'm going to just rotate this round, and it's one rotate it the other way. So there we have our overlapping pieces. Now, we've got to copy this to the other side. Actually, I'm going to move this down. Let's put it there. So we're going to copy this to the other side so that it actually can start to tessellate. So selecting our top star and the top box, we hold down the Alt or Options key, and we see how the cursor changes. So click and just drag this down. You'll see that if we hold on Shift as well, that, that just moves there. Now what we're doing is we want this to line up exactly with the bottom and release, and do the same here. So hold down Shift, select them both, the Alt and Options key, hold down, left click, drag this along, Round shift menu exactly, and there we have it, perfectly aligned. So now we've got overlapping stars on all areas. So let's just delete these boxes. Now all we've got to do is cut off the edges of the boxes so that um, the star actually can repeat. Do this by taking the rectangle tool and drawing in some stars, some some um, rectangles over the stars. So one, two, three, and the last one is going to go like such. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to want to remove this much of, this, of the star. We do this by doing Windows and Pathfinder. This is a really useful shape creation tool. So we select the top star and hold on Shift top box. Then for shape modes, we use the second one, which is minus front. Now remember we drew the rectangles on the second, so they're on the top layer. So when we click that, the top disappears. Do this again with this star, minus top. Do it again with this, minus top. And do it again with these two. So now we've got a shape. You can see that this part of the star, if we zoom in a bit, the right part of the star would move across and mate with the left part of the star. That's exactly how we want it. Now I can go and add more details to this. I'm going to stay with the star theme to make it nice and easy and draw in the stars. Now, as long as I stay within this box, I can do whatever I like because it will be easy repeated. All I've got to do is make sure I don't go over the edges, otherwise, I'm going to have to start doing um, the Pathfinder tool again. So just actually just bombard this with stars everywhere, make it really nice and colourful. By the way, I'm doing this at Christmas time, so that's probably why I'm thinking about stars. So any shape, any size, any orientation does not matter at all. So that's nice and busy, and that will do great for what we're trying to achieve today. Just one more in there. So we've now created our shape. What we want to do now is we want to turn this into a swatch you can use. So let's open our swatches, so the window swatch, and let's move this on the left here. So select the box and delete that. We're now actually going to do something else, which is select all the swatches here. So hold on, select the top left white one. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the white. I'm going to keep it black as well to point like that. Select the red one. Hold on shift and go and click the last area there. 
Click delete. Same for these groups. So we're going to be down to, to real basics. And um, now I need to create my swatch. So the selection tool, draw a marquee around all of these and drag them into our swatches. And we'll see the swatch appears just there. I'm going to do one more thing then. I'm going to create a new color group, which is, I'm going to call this star colors. In here, I'm going to, I've already got the pink selected in my colors. Let's click new swatch. And there's our color just there. Now, the reason for doing this is that if you had a custom color, which is a certain Pantone, then it's saving it with the swatch. So, the next stage is crucial. How do you apply this to another shape? So, on the drop down on the bottom left, swatch libraries, we can say save swatches. And I'm going to go to my desktop and call this, you know, I've actually got one here, various things ready and playing around with. I'm going to call this new star pattern. And I'm going to click save. So let's put this into action. So file, new. And it doesn't matter what we're doing, we're just taking a new artboard. And you can see that our swatches have been returned to the default. And I'm going to get rid of all these other areas. So I'm going to draw, let's say, let's draw another star. So I start with a star. And I'm going to draw it from the very center. And let's do it like that. Okay. So it's a nice complex shape. And the swatches go to the bottom left swatch library menu. Other library, desktop, and we've got new star pattern. Click open. And we see here that the swatches from the top and the color group have all been brought into this window. Now I can just drag this into our main swatches library and it appears there. And we can drag the color library in as well. We can close it down now because we've got everything in our swatches ready to go. Select the star and we can just click on the swatch. And lo and behold, our, our pattern has been applied. If we zoom in here, we cannot see any lines between any of the stars because we arranged them neatly. The reason why I said don't have a stroke is that that can cause problems with uh, black lines appearing. So that is that. Now we can go further, of course. Now remember, we didn't fill the background of this in, which means the background is transparent. So selecting our large star, go to Windows, Appearance, and I'm going to pull this out to make it a bit more obvious what we're doing. We can add a new fill, just like that. Let's make the bottom fill, and I'm going to choose, let's choose a gradient. And there it is. So we've added a color behind this. Of course, we can click on opacity and take the opacity down. So I'm going to take it to about 50%, and then I can close this window down, close watch it down. So we've created a really nice pattern, which is there. We've saved it as a swatch file, which is ready for us to use any time we like. So we can use it again and again and again in any application. We've input it, we've applied it to a star. We've opened the appearance um, window, and we've added a fade in the background, which we've modified further. So we can use this again and again, and that's how to make a repeatable pattern in Adobe Illustrator.